week's replay, and I will see you guys in just over a minute. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, welcome back to the SCPL. I know we just had an insane first game, the shortest game possible, I think. Both players were apparently drunk, and uh, and that led to that game. I don't know what else to say, uh, but we're going to head straight into our second game uh, to not waste too much time. That was a very, very short game, so hopefully uh, this game will be a little bit closer, a little bit less drunk. Now... This should be a fairly interesting one. Two of the players did very well in the last round, doing very well this round as well. So let's head on over to our, in, uh, our overlay and introduce our two players here today. Okay, so... We're gonna have for IRK, it's Oyaji. Now Oyaji did play as the name Imba in round one. He did go two for two. Uh, in the last round, he's 2 for 1 in this round so far, 2 for 1 against Protoss, he has been a PvP sniper so far in the SCPL, he's been doing a lot of work against Protoss, op Protoss opponents, and he is going to be up against a very strong Protoss here for ninth team, he was the ace player, the key player for Team Liquid Staff in round 1, he went 3 for 4, uh, but he is currently 5 for 3 against Protoss. So he's played uh, just over about, I can't believe I'm trying to, use... he's played 11 games, 8 of those have been against Protoss, so he is a PvP sniper as well. He is 2 for 2 in this round, uh, so 50% win rate for him, uh, but he is going to be a strong opponent for Yaji and vice versa, Yaji going to be doing a very good job as well against V1. So let's have a look at what map they are going to be playing on, now we didn't see this in the first series of today. Uh, but we will have it here. It's going to be Neo Aztec, one of the most standard maps at the moment. Of course, uh, it was or it is now being used on the ladder. Uh, 12, 5, or 12, 4, 8 o'clock spawns. And a three player map, of course, did spawn from the 2011 Gyeongnam STX Masters Cup. As PvP, there has only been three of them so far, but that is quite a large amount of the game, so. Very good of them now. Uh, should be a really cool PvP here. It's going to be IRK's Oyaji versus 9v1. Let's head on over to the game and let's get started with our second game of the series. See you guys very soon. Why, why am I seeing that? Uh, let's head on over to the game. Okay, so starting us off here in the 12 o'clock position, we do have our first Protoss player currently fighting from an advantage for his team. It is going to be IRK's Oyaji in the 12 o'clock position. Now his opponent down here in the 4 o'clock position, 5 o'clock position, if you may, is going to be in the green, it's V1, fighting for ninth team. Now as much as I wanted to say this might be a longer game, there's going to be a proxy. 
Now, is this going to be a proxy 1 gate, or is it going to be a proxy 2 gate? Not too sure, but this is going to be a big, big moment in the game. Is V1 going to scout this? Now, I believe there is actually a scouting pattern on the worker that goes through that position. Just barely. So depending on where V1 does choose to scout, and how late he chooses to scout, we could see a very quick game. Now, he is going to be able to fit two gateways in here. It uh, looks like he isn't going to save for the other gateway. Maybe he is. But obviously, proxy two gate is better than one. Uh, so, oh, it is going to be two gateways, so... This could be a very, a very quick game. Now, is V1 going to scout this? It's going to be so, so important that he scouts the right direction. Is he going to see this on his way past? No, he's not. He's scouting 12 first. And you can see that he actually has studied the map, studied the scouting patterns, as V1 is not going to know about this proxy until he gets up there. Now, luckily, he is going to scout first, but his gateways are so much further behind. Luckily for him, he has gone for his own two gateways. So he may be able to hold on. They're both going to be Zealots versus Zealots, of course. We are going to have the quicker Zealots coming out from Oyaji. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean too much. Oyaji actually building a pylon at the top of the ramp to maybe build a shield battery up here just to add insult to injury. And now the gateway's a little bit far back from uh, from the front as well. He's, not, he's actually supply blocked. Both of them are... He really badly needs these zealots as soon as he possibly can. Now you can see that Oyaji was a little bit unsupply blocked, a little bit quicker. So he is able to get a couple of extra zealots, but here we go, the shield battery coming up. The zealot from V1 is going to do what it can to try and push its way up the ramp, try and get rid of the zealot, but this is going to be such a hard position to break. And when there's a shield battery involved as well... V1 is going to have to make something happen. Is he going to add a third gateway? Is he going to add his gas? Not too sure. Now, we actually saw uh, the shield battery being used on something there. I think it must have been the probe, but here we go. It's going to be three zealots against two, but there is a shield battery involved as well. That's going to be a big, big difference in this game. Uh, are we going to see him use it properly? Doesn't look like he's going to use it. He needs to use it. Uh, does manage to get two for two. Another shield battery usage as well. Going to be very, very good. The probe does go down. That Zealot does barely survive. There we go. It does go down. It's going to be two Zealots against zero. One Zealot now, actually. And is V1 going to be able to hold? This is going to be such a difficult position to hold in. And it looks like there's actually a hidden pylon in here. I think he was going to try and go for a gateway. But he was pulled back. Another couple of probes have been pulled up here as well. And this is going to be a lot of damage coming in from Oyachi. As V1 desperately tries to hold, using his probes to block... Trying to keep the Zealots from getting in. Not going to be able to manage it. It's going to be four Zealots against two. And unfortunately, this is just too many units coming in here for Oyaji. Now, V1 could still hold. It's not completely unwinnable, but it's especially going to be hard with this many Zealots coming in. Now, there's going to be another two Zealots popping out. Unfortunately, V1 not on top of his Zealot building. He's trying to focus too much on the Micro, and he is in a dire position. He's going to try and hold on for as long as humanly possible. But here we go. Has he held? There is a lot of Zealots in his main base. There's a shield battery with half energy up here as well. He goes back to get some shields on one of his Zealots. And V1 is in a dire, dire position. His production just hasn't been good enough. I mean, Oyachi's production has been great. He's been building Zealots off of both constantly, but now is going to be the moment he expands. He knows he's in an incredible position, and he is going to try and cement this. If this attack doesn't work, he's going to have the economy advantage. But look at this. A huge surround by the Zealots. going to be doing a lot of damage to V1 Zealots. It's going to be probes against Zealots, and that is not a fight you can win. And GG! V1 is taken down by Oyachi to give IRK... A very quick 2-0. Just to point out, guys, we're 8 minutes into this series and we're currently 2 games down. So that is absolutely insane. Uh, but PvP can, can go like that sometimes. Uh, we are going to head on to the intro for our third time. We're going to head into our next game, which is going to be a ZVZ. So don't go anywhere. See you guys very